what it means to me is to appreciate the you know just the the, the, the small things the highs the lows everything isn't that deep and when it does get that deep there are still you know just small lovely things that happen in our lives and that's what we have to recognize and appreciate they're real people and like I think that you can get removed from that every once in a while and then every single time I stumble back upon that and I rediscover that and like oh wait this is like a real person and somebody struggled through this or somebody questioned this or somebody grappled with this whatever that might be it's so touching and it's so universal and it's so great to have that moment not only with the piece but with yourself and with the people in the room you know your actress burden is to tell everything um, truthfully right and this show has so many different characters every letter has their own cadence rhythm all of that so just making sure that they're all true though you know I think that that'll be the most difficult thing remembering these are real people these are real real people and then getting it in quick that's probably the most challenging part just hearing over and over again the uncertainty that people have and like the guilt people have about the weirdest things and the way in which people feel this need to confess whatever it is, is really human and is something that I relate to just as a person. So it's cool to see it voiced in this play and to see how many people feel that way. The letters I really connect with are the ones written about her mother or when she connects with her mother. Her mother's past, my mother's past. And just that love that, that still keeps us. Um, no matter how many years it's been, you know, that they say nothing like a mother's love. So I, I love those letters and that type of connection. I'm a very gregarious, outgoing kind of person. So I love meeting complete strangers and I love cracking jokes. Somehow the punchlines come to me and I love to like make light of situations uh, with complete strangers. Um, I think, you know, so often, especially now in the, the times in which we live, um, where a lot of people listen to respond, we listen to talk, you know, and we listen in a way that isn't really engaging everything that the person is telling us. Um, so I think the, the biggest way, the most simple way, which actually isn't so simple, I guess, is truthfully and honestly listening. They can expect uh, a really touching, beautiful uh, story about real people and what real people uh, are going through in life. And, identify with a lot of the characters that uh, we play. The audience can expect something that is uh, deep, heartfelt, gut-wrenching, challenging, um, all of that. And I think if they allow themselves to be truly invested and fully invested, uh, they should walk out of here uh, needing a hug or a drink, um, you know, something like that. I think that's what they can expect.